Jello, a Hamilton dog owner is charged with animal cruelty tonight after two dogs are found emaciated. The dog warden found out about the dogs from the owner himself. Anjanette Levy is here to explain. Hi, Anjanette. Hey, Megan. The Butler County dog warden says that Brian Troutwine called and said that he'd actually found the two dogs two weeks ago, but the dog warden said he found out Troutwine had actually owned these dogs for years. Portia is a sweet boxer who's been through a lot. You can see nearly every bone in her torso. Deputy Abby Forkner and her mom are nursing her back to health. Every couple of hours we mix food together, give it to her, make sure she eats it slow, give her uh, water slowly. While she's improving, Portia isn't out of the woods yet. Dog warden Kurt Merbs discovered Portia and Chloe last Thursday. They were in a mudroom at this house on Franklin Street in Hamilton. Merb says Brian Troutwine called and claimed he'd only had Chloe and Portia for two weeks. It turns out he's had them for years. Troutwine said Portia was sick. He, he claims that he fed him twice a day, every day. How bad is this? Portia is definitely the worst emaciated dog I've seen without being deceased. Chloe is well enough to stay at the Animal Friends Humane Society, but Portia needs round-the-clock care. She has sores on her legs from where she was kept in a dog coat. Thankfully, she's getting stronger. It's gone from a dog that just wants to lay around and sleep because she didn't have any energy mm -hmm. to she's really starting to show who she is. She's wanting to be loved on, wanting to climb up on the couch, wanting to lay in the sun, oh, um, just wanting to no. be with us. Oh. <laughs> Kurt Merbs says that Troutwine later told investigators he didn't have a job and was taking care of his mother who is ill. He is in the Butler County Jail tonight and he'll be in court in the morning. Megan? Anjanette, thank you. Animal cruelty is a first degree misdemeanor in Ohio. It carries a punishment up to 180 days in jail and a fine up to $1,000.